Hi, this is Pete from Livid, here to give you a final look at the editor that we're shipping with the OM64. Uh, when you first open the editor, what it does is it looks on your USB port for an OM and then sends it a request to get all the settings and then populates the editor with the current settings. And the other thing that it does when it opens is it opens up this editor tour, but you're watching this video, so we don't really need that. The heart of the editor is the inspector and it shows you the current value and type of whatever element that you've clicked on and it also shows you the ID number which is more important for people who want to dive into MaxMSP and program some of their own features. Uh, but it also does help you give, identify various things. For example, if I make an assignment and press update tells me that note 8 is already assigned to ID 1 which is the neighbor ID 1 so it doesn't let us make that assignment let's make an assignment that we can do now we can see that this has been assigned a value of 100 but if we go to the MIDI spy and this is a very important concept if we see we press the buttons we can see that it's still outputting value note value 0 so what we need to do is we need to send the data that's currently on the computer over to the OM64. So we'll do that and we'll go take a look and we can see now it's sending out note 100. Now I'd like to interject something here. I realize that it may seem a little bit clunky to have to hit send every time you want the settings to go to the OM, especially in this age of carpet cleaning robots. but. We've had some internal debate about this, and ultimately what this does is it makes sure that you know the settings are going there, and it also keeps the code simpler, which is important for an open source project. And so the moral of the story is press send. Now that we've learned about the send button, we can take a look at the save to own button, and this is important for when you want the settings to be retained when the power gets turned off to the ohm. Now we don't do this automatically because it gets saved to flash memory and flash memory has a finite lifespan of something maybe 10,000 write cycles which seems like a lot but you want this to last a lifetime so you don't want to write to it superfluously. Other things about the editor there are some hidden tricks perhaps there's the lock button which exposes the LED assignment and you can separate the LED's MIDI, in, MIDI note that it responds to or MIDI CC that it responds to from the output of a button. And from nine times out of ten, you're not going to want to do that. You just want to leave it the same, and it automatically keeps it the same. Another thing to notice is that we have different types for buttons. We have the note and the control. Now, the control actually has a couple of hidden types. If you set the control value to 122, that is actually going to send a MIDI machine control uh, message of, of start. Um, and 123 will stop, and 123 is continue. 124 is continue. Um, this is a little bit of an Easter egg, but it's handy for uh, people who want to do DAW work and use the OM64 buttons for transport control. Similarly, we can look at a, a knob or a slider and we can see that this sends out controller data by default but there's also this option of CC bend. Uh, the CC means that it's um, it does 14-bit style messages although it doesn't send out 14-bit data it still sends out 7-bit it's only really for compatibility. You can also send out bend data on this if you assign it to 96 through 111 and then it will send pitch bend data out on channel 1 through 16 and again this is a 14-bit message but it is actually only 7-bit data we would have liked to have gotten higher res data out of it but there's a lot of electronics in there and it's a little bit noisy and we're running off USB power and that adds an additional challenge we can take a look at the more window and this has some additional controls for backlight control and logo brightness these are controlled by MIDI CCs, so you can send those from uh, another program or another device to control the backlighting and logo lighting of the ohm. Um, local control means that if it's 
If local control is on, then you cannot control the LEDs with remote messages. It, they just blink when you press the button. When it's off, then you can send MIDI to control the LEDs. Omni mode, it will receive data on any channel um, when it's on, and when it's off, it, it, it will only listen to specified channel, which you can specify here. Um, fetch settings is pretty obvious. Factory reset will reset everything to the factory defaults, and then fetch the settings and populate your editor. Uh, the snapshot will send controller data for from all of the controls, uh, so you can update your DAW or your software with the current positions. MIDI merge is a is an option for being able to send out all of the MIDI data that is generated from the ohm control surface out the MIDI output jack, along with any any MIDI data that you send on a uh, on a MIDI port from your computer. Uh, you can turn it on or off. Presets allow you to save different settings for different situations, and uh, they load instantly, but of course you'll need to send them, unless you have send on change. In which case, when you change your preset, it will go ahead and send all of the data to the ohm and update it. And the other thing is the flip crossfader, which changes the min-max value for the crossfader. Um, so some programs like the maximum value at the left, some programs like it at the right. You can choose how you want that set up. And what this does is it takes you to our website and takes you to our blog and separates all the tags with the OM64 software tag. And this will have all of the new toys and updates and uh, things to try out with your OM64 uh, because we want to keep it what we call a living instrument. So you always have something new to do with it. And that is the editor. We hope you enjoy using it along with your own 64 which is actually a lot more fun than this program all right have a good day